Hello and welcome to The Market Capitalist. I am Dominica Johnston. As you can see, I'm wearing glasses so that I can see you better. Today I want to talk about an upcoming event that has economic implications and investment implications. A number of articles and publications I've been reading lately, they're predicting that the summer will see weakening gas prices. Bear of oil will be cheaper and therefore gas will be impacted because it will be able to decrease in cost. What does that mean to you as an investor and how can you as an investor capitalize on this situation? I'm going to give you my opinion and my perspective as an investor and kind of what I'm planning on doing. And you can take that, use it if you like, or discard it. Now, because I've talked about Master Limited Partnerships before, and you probably know I'm a big fan of Master Limited Partnerships, I'm going to focus on that area of investments and how to play um, with the e weakening oil price with Master Limited Partnerships. As a refresher, Master Limited Partnerships are a special type of company protected by the U.S. tax code where essentially they have to pay 90% of their earnings out to their shareholders. Um, you're not really an owner of the company, you're a partner of the company, which I guess makes you an owner as well. In any case, if you need a refresher on Master Limited Partnerships, go back. The video is in the archives. With that said, what's going to happen presumably, is that oil prices are going to weaken throughout part of the summer. I am assuming that because of this weakness in the oil market, people are going to retreat out of some of the Master Limited Partnership stocks, fearing that the um, weakening oil prices will hurt earnings of the Master Limited Partnerships. Maybe, maybe not. Some of them have hedged against this. They locked in contracts into the future, protecting against um, variability in the market as far as prices. And then some other master limited partnerships really aren't in the business of taking possession of actual oil or gasoline or whatever the energy source is. They're into the transport of it. So really, um, they're not going to be really impacted by that at all because they're, they're transporting it. They're not taking ownership. So, what I plan on doing is monitoring the market and looking for weakness amongst a group of MPLs that I will select and say that, you know, these are my prospects. These are the stocks that I'd like to buy, but they're not the right price right now. If we do see that weakness in the market because of the oil um, price falling, I will go in and I will buy these stocks because two things are going to happen. Um, the dividend or the annual dividend yield is going to increase with the drop in price. I'm assuming that this weakness in the oil market this summer is a temporary thing and will um, increase in price to barrel of oil once the economy starts to recover, whether it's the fall or further down the road. So I see this as a window of opportunity where there might be a perception in the investing community that there is this ongoing weakness in oil and therefore we should retract out of MPLs because they deal a lot with the ownership and transport of oil. I see it as a temporary um, concern, not a long term, and therefore I'm going to position myself to benefit in the long term because of the weakness that I foresee coming with Master Limited Partnerships. What you could do is the same thing or change it up a little bit. Maybe look at some different other other investments that pertain to oil. Maybe it's drilling rigs. Right now they've been beaten down really hard. There are companies that lease out drilling rigs like Diamond Offshore. And there's a, there's a handful of other companies out there that are very involved with leasing drilling rigs to do deep sea oil drilling. It might be that. It might be simply going out and purchasing shares of a company like Chevron who is obviously very um, heavily exposed in the oil business. In either case, there are a number of things to do to uh, leverage this situation because if you assume like I do, where it's a, it's a summer thing, it's a economic thing where once the economy picks up, we're going to see a resurgence of fuel costs, then you're putting yourself in a situation to benefit down the road. It's kind of like I said in a past video blog about being a contrarian. When people are running out, sometimes you have to run in. And even though it's against what is popular at the time, 
it can work out in the long run to benefit you because you're doing something that requires or has more forethought in it than these other investors that are either doing a short-term play or just getting cold feet and not being able to take the uh, volatility of the market. In any case, look for lower oil prices this summer and therefore lower gas prices and if nothing else, go take a trip, enjoy it, and uh, maybe your investment portfolio will enjoy it too this fall after the uh, prices pick back up hopefully. Alright, that's it for today and I appreciate you tuning in. Comments below. Thank you again.